Hola chicos, aquí estoy en mi coche. Yo voy en vía al supermercado para comprar algunas cosas. Hoy vamos a hacer patacones, que es un plato típico de Costa Rica y del Caribe. Se llama tostones, patacones. Bueno, vamos a hacer patacones. Y yo tengo que comprar los ingredientes, específicamente los plátanos. Entonces vamos a Whole Foods. Y sí. Hola friends, we are back and today we are making patacones. Patacones is a dish um, traditional to Costa Rica and areas of the Caribbean. Some people call it tostones. In Costa Rica they call them patacones. As far as I know, there's not a significant difference, but if there is, let me know. Anyway, um, I went out and got the ingredients that we need and I have a special guest today. Da -da -da -da. My tia Liz, yay! So this is my aunt. Hola. Yay! <laughs> she is um, a big fan of my YouTube channel and she's gonna help me make patacones. So we're gonna get started. I'm gonna walk through the process, hopefully do this bilingually. Um, if you are doing this yourself or you'd like to do this, you need to have a lot of kitchen caution in this video. There's gonna be hot oil, you're gonna need to use a stove, you're gonna need to use a knife. So please have um, parental supervision or involvement if you are doing this. Okay, let's get started. First, I wanna give a shout out. I'm wearing this shirt specifically because this is where I learned how to make patacones. So shout out to CRLA in Costa Rica and San Jose. So the first thing we're gonna do, the first thing you need are platanos, um, platanos verdes. You do not want maduros. Maduros are yellow and look like bananas and they're a lot softer. The platanos verdes are hard and that's important in this process because we're going to fry them. So they need to be hard to start. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna peel the platano and then you're gonna cut them so they look like large quarters. Okay, so I have my plantain. These you can't really peel like a banana, I was explaining to Liz. So you have to, I would recommend cutting off this first and then making like a small cut. Don't go like deep down because then you'll start cutting into the plantain and then pick out the side and start peeling away. And then you want to do that for the whole thing. If you need to keep like making those little small cuts, just again, don't go very deep and then just peel away like that. Okay. Until you have the whole thing uncovered. Okay. So once your plantains are peeled, it's going to look like this. I got kind of small ones actually. They might be a lot bigger than this, but these are actually just like banana sized, but you'll notice they're definitely harder than a banana. Good thing. Cause this would be gross. You're going to cut them into like, I mean, the end you can keep a leaf small pieces like this okay just small round pieces okay so the instructions that i have from CRLA are to add salt at this point which i've done it you can add salt at this point you cannot add salt at this point i don't think it makes a huge difference but we will just to follow the directions so i'm gonna Salt, 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 <laughs> salt, okay. <laughs> Added our salt, we're good to go. Next, um, okay, we have to boil the um, canola oil. You can use, I think, kind of any oil you want. I usually use canola oil. Um, this is really hot. This is a um, adult part of the process, so please, muy when you're, fuego. yeah. <laughs> caliente, está muy caliente. So we're gonna start boiling our oil over here. Okay, so you're gonna fill it until it like covers the bottom about, you don't, you don't want a deep, I don't even know that measurement, but not even like a quarter of an inch. And that's gonna get really hot. Okay, our oil is like ready to go and we're going to carefully put in a few of these at a time to fry. We're gonna take a spatula, scoop them in, gently place them in the oil. I'm gonna put a few on here and a few in there. Do not drop them in, the oil will like fling at you. It's not good. So you can hear it, there they go. Woohoo! Bueno. Yes, yes. So this is this part's gonna go pretty fast actually. We're gonna let them get like golden on one side, flip them over, get golden on the other, and then take them out really quick. So this part does not last long because we fry them twice. So 
so don't leave them in too long. Okay, so I put Liz in charge of adding more plantains into our boiling oil. And then I have the ones that I just did. I took them out and put them on here. They're really hot. You have to put um, paper towel kind of under them to soak up the oil. And then I'm gonna put one or two sheets of paper towel over them and actually crush them with my hands. Again, they're really hot, so be careful while you're doing this part. Be careful putting them in, taking them out, do it slowly. The oil will spritz everywhere. I grabbed a rolling pin. I'm just gonna carefully go over these. They're not gonna be like super flat, but just like a little bit more. And I'll show you what they look like. Ooh, I probably should have done it on the plate like this. Yeah, should have done it the other way. A flat surface. We can do it's fine. There we go. Nice, nice. Fantastic. Okay. And this is what they look like after you rolling pin them. Hang tight because more are coming on the way. Okay. Can I put these guys in? Mm hmm. Okay, so at this point we have them, they are all fried for the first time, flattened, and we're gonna fry them one more time. Again, just so they get like a nice golden color. Um, if you want them more like crunchy like chips, leave them in a little longer. I kind of like mine a little bit chewy. So here we go. Okay, so our patacones are just about done. I'm gonna get another paper towel, maybe soak up a little bit more oil. We're gonna add some salt on top, and then vamos a probarlos. Yep, they're just about done. I think most of the oil drains out on the bottom. So these feel like chips. Perf, perf. Okay. I'm gonna put them all together if that's... Mm -hmm. Tell me when. Sounds good. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so we are ready to try our patacones. They look great. They smell fried. <laughs> I also got out some um, substitute for what is natilla, is sour cream. So if you like that um, just for dipping, you can also put like refried beans or cheese or whatever you want on top. I just have some natilla for us. So Liz, would you like to try a patacon? We can't wait to try a patacon. Okay, I'll try a little dip. I'll try one of these ones. Mmm! Si sí, me gusta! <laughs> Muy bueno! Mmm! Delicious! Wow! Mmm! Fantastic! Salieron muy rico. How do you say delicious? Delicioso? Or in Costa Rica? In Costa Rica? We say, que rico! Que rico! Que rico! Mmm! Mm -hmm. These are delicious. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice and crispy with a little salt. Mm -hmm. So easy, right? Mm -hmm. All you need is literally plantains and salt and oil. No, kind of want to make them all the time now. 
And they're also really filling. Mm -hmm. So like if ever you wanted for dinner, like, like now you eat guac, you could just do this instead. Totally. And it's like. I'm totally gonna make these with guac. With guac, all you need is a vehicle. I recommend. Yeah, some of the thicker ones. Really good. I'll have one of the crispy ones. Okay. Since I wanted crispy. Mm. Mmm. Wow. I could literally eat that whole plate. I and just eat that for dinner. Mm-hmm. So the thing good. is, when they sit, though, for a while, they kind of, kind of goes later because mm -hmm. they're fried. You gotta so, eat them when they're warm. When they're fresh. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you for joining us for this video. Gracias a mi tía Liz por acompañarnos en este video. And we'll see you guys next time. Adios. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. <laughs>